Hi, I'm Jo Southers. I'm one of the surgeons at BNW Equine Hospital in Gloucestershire. Uh, we see lots of cases of colic here at the hospital. The majority of cases of colic can be managed medically and often out on the road. But there is a proportion of colics, around 15%, that are critical cases. These can either be very sick horses that need very intensive medical management or horses that require colic surgery. And when they do require colic surgery, they require that as rapidly as possible. The reason that they need colic surgery is that the intestine is becoming compromised in some way. That can either be with a small intestine, it's become uh, the blood supply to the intestine has become trapped and that intestine is dying, or with the large intestine that that intestine has moved into the wrong position and is twisting upon itself. There can also be other reasons that a horse requires surgery, but it's important that that is done as quickly as possible to ensure that the horse has the most successful outcome. So on arrival to the hospital, we initially assess the horse to see if they require surgery or not. We do this looking at a number of different of the horses presenting clinical signs. That includes the horse's heart rate, taking bloods from the horse, ultrasound scanning the horse's abdomen to see whether we can see any abnormalities, doing a rectal examination on the horse and assessing the horse's comfort and how it's responded to any pain relief it may have had. It can also involve putting a tube up the horse's nose and into the stomach to see if the fluid is backing up into the stomach. Once we've made a decision as to whether the horse needs to have surgery or not, if the horse does need to have surgery, we'll immediately go from our examination room into the surgical induction area. There the horse is prepared for an anaesthetic and is immediately anaesthetised. The horse has a general anaesthetic and we then open the horse's abdomen from its umbilicus on its midline underneath it. Uh, and then that allows us to access the guts, to assess what position they're in, and to either untwist or remove any pieces of gut that we need to. And we can then, if we do need to remove some gut, we can make a new join uh, for, for the intestine. The horse is then generally with us here at the hospital for a week following surgery. The first initial period is really critical. Some horses can be quite sick in that period. The first, over the first 72 hours and require real intensive care. We're lucky we have a team of medical specialists that are involved in that period. And we gradually in, introduce the horse both to oral water and then to increasing amounts of feed. Following that seven day period, the horse is then discharged from the hospital to have a period of box rest with the owner. That generally is around eight, eight weeks, um, which allows the incision into the abdomen to heal so the horse has a strong um, uh, abdominal wall for when it returns to exercise. At that point the horse can slowly start to in increasing work and horses that have had colic surgery can go on to do all sorts of athletic work including return to racing, eventing, dressage. If we look at the overall outcomes following colic surgery, of those horses that we wake up and get up off the operating table, around 80% it depends on the type of lesion, but about 70 to 80 percent of those horses are alive at a year post-surgery. So many horses have colic surgery with a very successful outcome.